Yo, what's good guys? It's Mr. E, and today we'll be looking at the Marksman. So when starting off with Marksman, what should I do? Well, first we want to plug in a point, and I recommend plugging that point into multi-shot turret. So go ahead and do that. It'll put your turret down here on your left click. Over here, pick up the bow. It'll automatically equip it. And then just start moving forward. And you want to just pretty much just hold down left click as you go. The turret will start placing itself down while you're moving forward and help you clear the path way more easy than you would if you were to pick any of the other skills. So multi turret for sure is the way to go with marksman. As you move yourself forward, it'll be a lot easier to get uh, more damage if you keep stacking into the multi turret. So I recommend that while continuing your grind forward keep stacking into multi-shot turret and let it carry you for a bit you can have up to four of them on the ground at once and it helps a lot when doing a lot of single target damage towards a single enemy such as a act boss or maybe a boss shrine or maybe if you're trying to clear like a breach portal or something Having a bunch of them down will help you clear way easier, way quicker. So, moving forward, stack in points into multi shot turret. You might want to plug some points into a trick shot. When you move down to the next section, Plug in at least one point into Arrow Rampage and start stacking into multi shot. That way you can shoot multiple projectiles instead of just one or two. Eventually, you'll move down to the next row. I recommend putting in at least one point into Territorial Offense. That way, your turret has a border around it that you can stand in and get a buff and health regen and attack speed. Um, I put in a point into Arrow Rain as well. Moving down to the next one, I'd plug in one point into rocket turrets, and then I would take out all the other points into this and stack it into this instead. And then I would put in one point into ballistics and start stacking a lot of points into agility, and then one point into armor piercing. When you finally get down to the next row, you'll want to respec everything. You'll only want to put one point into your turrets. You'll still want to put a point into territorial offense, but you'll want to put um, 20 into multi-shot. You'll want to put 20 into gunner drones, and then you'll want to put 20 or the remainder into agility. Um, eventually, as you continue on, you can spec it however you want, but I think that putting a lot of your damage into the drones is going to help you skyrocket your way up to level 100 quicker. Um, definitely using the turret still, definitely using the bubble around it to stand in, and then definitely specking into points over here to be able to get more damage for yourself, but your drones are pretty much going to carry you for a while. So fixate around that until you get to 100, and then that's when uh, the real actual specking and gear swapping begins. So the Marksman has two sets and let's go ahead and start with the first one, the Marksman set. So what does the Marksman set do? The Marksman set has piercing built in. It allows for bleed and it causes an AOE damage to enemies. This sounds really, really good, right? I particularly don't like it, and the reason why is because it does have built-in pierce. But why wouldn't you want built-in pierce? Well, the reason why is because I really like homing shot, and homing shot does not actually proc if you have pierce on, which means none of your shots can home in at the target, which means potentially less single target damage. However, it is really nice for doing extra damage to enemies that are all lined up. It also helps with uh, crowd control. 
So if you like to do more AOE damage, then I'd say the set is for you. So let's go ahead and look at the pieces. There is a charm, there is a chest plate, there is a bow, and there is a glove. So there's four pieces that make the set and let's check the damage. So this is multi-shot, um, multi-target damage using the, just the set only. Um, I do have relics put in, but I do not have any type of hero levels. I took all those off, so none are plugged in. Um, I'm not using a mercenary, I took the mercenary off, and I'm only using the set. So this is what the set looks like. 10 out of 10, 100%. This is the damage that you can do to the multi-target. Which, to be honest, is pretty nuts for multi-target. But, you know, what can you expect? So let's go ahead and test out the single target damage and see what we can do. That's pretty much what you're going to get with single target around 35 mil. Alright, so let's go ahead and test this setup running through Hell 1. We have pretty much negatives across the board because we have nothing giving us any resistance. Our movement speed is a whopping 60 and our damage reduction is 14k with 52k HP. What does the clear look like? I'm sure it's really good. Yeah, everything is pretty much uh, dying really quickly. However, you know, you're not going to be running around with this setup, I know. This is just me testing out the set just to show you what it can do on its own. Um, I know that you're going to be wearing boots, you're going to be wearing a ring, you're going to be wearing all those fancy things that allow you to be more quick have more survivability, do a little bit more damage. But yeah, just wanted to kind of show you guys what this set looks like, what it can do early, just getting into hell um, at level 100. Alright, I'm going to jump straight to the boss. Let's do it! Alright, we made it. Get over here, Garrick. What do you got for me? Well, really, really easy. No problem whatsoever. And that's what you can do with the marksman set. Next up, we have the engineer set. What is the engineer set? It's a four piece set that allows you to spawn four orbiting drones and increases the overall damage of those drones. So instead of spawning one or two at a time, you'll now spawn four. Um, it doesn't come with a weapon, so I went ahead and put on a really easy to get weapon you might find in Nightmare called Wind Force. It's a pretty decent one that adds extra damage to the multi-shot, so I just went ahead and put that on. Uh, it's just a B tier, nothing special, but uh, we needed at least something so that my marksman's not just, you know, standing there. I could show you what it's like without the wind force though. I'll show you guys when we go out in the field. But for now, this is the setup. It comes with a, a necklace charm, a chest, and a belt. And let's test the damage. I did reroll my stats a little bit. Um, I put 20 into drones uh, just because we're doing drone damage. So let's stack the drone damage, you know? One thing I have to point out is the drones themselves, when you stack a bunch of points into it, actually end up using a lot of mana. And if you put that on, let's say, your left click and you just spam it, you're going to be out of mana super quickly and then you can't spam your skills anymore. 
So what I would do is until you have a lot of mana regen or a lot of mana to be able to spam the skills, I would put your drones on a completely separate button because you don't need to spam them over and over again. You can just keep them out pretty much at all times um, with enough cooldown. So you only need to activate them once. You don't have to spam them and they'll follow you around the whole time. So do that early on if you end up going with this setup. That way you're not running on zero mana. Let's go ahead and test it real quick. Pop them out. Check the damage. Seems like it doesn't matter, even if you didn't put the drones on uh, a different button, you're still running out of mana real quickly, so that's something. Let's go ahead and test single target damage now. Alright, so that's what we're looking at, maybe about 15 million single target, and that's with the bow added. If you guys really wanted to take this up a notch later, you'd want to craft one of these. It's a rune work called Dusex Makina, and it gives you the ability Artificer. Um, it allows your gunner drones to attack the same target multiple times. Now that we know what the set can do, let's go ahead and go out and kill some stuff. What do we have? We're at 55k HP, 18k reduction. Not as bad on the resists. Go run around and kill some stuff just to show off this set. cool thing about this set is the drones do pretty big damage. You don't even have to actually shoot your bow. You can pretty much just run and the drones would do most of the work for you. You can also conjure up extra drones if you have enough mana to do so. So you could technically have a total of 8 of them instead of 4. So that's pretty cool too. It will increase your damage if you can spawn multiple drones at once. I can unequip the bow, like I said. This is me testing out the marksman with only the drone set. Running forward, not actually using a bow. As you can see, the chaining from the drones actually goes through walls. So you don't even have to be point blank to hit them. So that's pretty cool. Alright, what can we do against Gear Egg? Man, if only we had more mana. Mana is the biggest problem. Now we can't even, we don't even have drones. There we go. So I don't recommend doing this without a bow. <laughs> but you know, it is possible. Um, the damage is significantly worse than the marksman set early on. But it does have a ton of potential. Uh, there are some other things you can add later on, such as like the Deuce X McKenna, which would allow you to do more single target damage your drone damage 
also gives you a buff to how much more all talents your drones have. So that's a potential if you guys want. And it also gives you the option to put on like a shield too. If you guys wanted to run a shield combo. Other than that, you know, two handers, you can do whatever. And that is the engineer set. So here's the build that you guys were probably waiting for. This is my end game marksman. This is the one that I would build if I was to play marksman and what I would recommend. It is using something that most people wouldn't have thought of because it hasn't been good until this season. First things first, I'm gonna go out and get a couple kills. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the belt of skulls, which gives you a damage, movement speed, and attack speed buff. All right, they're all applied. Let's go ahead and go in and test the damage. Reset damage. All right, so as you can see, it's uh, pretty good. It's not ridiculously busted, not like some other builds where it's hitting multiple, multiple billions, but it could if you really wanted it to. The way I have it set up is I'm extra tanky, but still doing ridiculous damage. So that's what I feel like is the most safe and the most reliable build. Um, if I wanted to hit to two or three billion, I could have respected it differently. But, you know, this is the way I wanted to build it, and maybe it'll be the way that you want to build it. I am not taking advantage of any exploits, so this isn't uh, using anything ridiculous. Um, I know there are some exploit builds out there that hit for way more damage, but those type of builds are going to get patched and uh, nerfed. So I wanted to provide you guys with something that could potentially continue to be good going from season to season so let me show you guys what i what i'm using so in the gear department we are using stick man steve set what's this do um it allows you to spawn a bunch of little stick man steves that run out and attack the target they home in pretty fun pretty awesome i recommend turning off voice acting in your uh audio or it's gonna sound crazy i'll show you what i mean so if i go in here and I go to audio, I turn voice acting on. You can hear it, and it just starts getting ridiculous if it spams all over the place. So I recommend turning that off. You don't want to hear it constantly. Um, that's what I do. Just turn that, turn that stuff, turn it off. Next we have the Battle Worn set. So what does the Battle Worn set do? The Battle Worn set allows every third attack to be empowered and deal additional damage. This isn't something that most of you would have thought of. I just randomly decided to test it and was like, holy crap, this is amazing. I feel like all Battle Worn happens to roll with physical for the most part. I, I'm not sure it could roll with something else, but physical seems to be what it rolls. So it works really good with the Marksman. Um, it also comes with base damage, which helps with our overall left click build, which is what we're doing. We're potentially just doing passive, holding down left click. We're going with Grimbone's Ribcage, it's the tankiest chest in the game, and uh, it adds a ton of survivability and all resists. The bonus to the all talents is really nice. Then we go with Solo Yolo's Holy Bow. Um, this is pretty much best in slot can't really do better. I know some people might try Death Quill or Dusex Makana, but I like Solo Yolo Bow. The benefit of having explosive impact and consecutive multi-shot whatever. This is just good. The crit is awesome and I recommend rolling Mark Target. Next we have Belt of Skulls, which I talked about earlier, which gives you a really nice buff and I recommend using this, especially if you want to move speed and have that little bit of extra damage while running around. 
we're going with Absence of Constraint. This is needed to be able to run the Stickman Steve set because it uh, normally would take three pieces, but it'll only take two using the ring. You could try a different setup if you want. You don't have to use the Stickman Steve setup. You can go with uh, the Satan setup if you want to do more armor break. I tested it. It's still pretty good. It's just not as fun because there's not Stickmans flying all over the place. And then last but not least, we have Bottle of Sake. Um, just for that crit and for that bonus critical damage when you activate it. So, I mean, you could go with other options, but I just felt like Bottle of Sake was more um, my speed since we're going with a little bit more crit in this build. And then we go to the Merc. What is the Merc wearing? The Merc is wearing St. Neri's Rainbow Lance with Flash Fire so that we get an attack speed bonus and has a chance to cause burning. We have Mayhem so that the Merc can give us a movement speed and attack speed buff. We have St. Tommy's Vibrant Aura so that we get all of the passive buffs from the Merc and uh, we get a really nice block and resistant upgrade little bit of attack speed bonus and a little bit of a damage bonus and then underworld skull breaker so that the merc can apply a little bit more armor break and last thing what am i using in the sockets so we went with all talents gem you can only have one we went with attack speed gem we can only have one we stacked decent amount of attack power in uh, some of the pieces and then I just said, you know what, we need more survivability, and I went full on HP. So just HP and the rest, I wanted to be at about 500,000 uh, HP. Um, I stacked block on the Merc just to help prevent them from taking a hit. And that's it. We have 83,000 reduction. We have max resists. And these are the talents that I plugged in. 20 into trick shot, 20 into multi shot, 20 into agility, 20 into safe space, and then the remainder into gunner drones. That's what I went with. You can change it however you want. I didn't feel like cluster bomb was needed, so I didn't put an extra point in there. Um, I didn't feel like we needed more armor break, so I didn't stack any more in that. I didn't put any into Volatile Shot, which is a decent skill. I just felt like it has a huge cooldown, so I didn't add it. I didn't feel like we needed to stack a bunch into Multi Turret, so I only put one into each. And then I didn't put any into Master Mechanic, because that only affects the turret. So since we're not going that route, I didn't. I don't really like Landmines, so I didn't use it. You can use it if you want, if you want to attempt to stun your prey or whatever, but you know. I'm trying to kill things before I get to it if I can. That's why I stacked a bunch into safe space, because it allows us to do more damage from farther away. So technically, we can stand across the screen killing targets rather than being point blank in their face. And that seems a little bit smarter, safer. You know, my safe space. So that's why I went with it. Um, here are levels. Strength, armor, crit, health, uh, armor break, critical chance, all stats, all resist, attack power, strength. And then we went with the ranged mercenary. And the ranged mercenary, we went 20, 20, 20, 20, 10. And then the rest, we put one into like all the passives. You could decide to put whatever you want in here. Realistically, most of these don't even matter. The mercenary is not really doing that much damage for us anyway. I just wanted to make sure that we got the maximum buff and we got maximum attack speed buff. And I don't even know if this works, uh, but we went ahead and put 20 into it anyway. These are the relics that I went ahead and plugged in. You can uh, go ahead and change them however you feel like. Pretty much went with the basics like attack speed and movement speed. I did add a little bit of special stuff such as spectral arrow. That way I can shoot over like objects that are on the screen. It won't let you particularly shoot over walls for the most part, but 
It does let you shoot over objects such as trees and rocks and stuff, so that helps. And then I went with uh, a little bit of crit, and I went with homing shot, which is really amazing. I love homing shot, and that's about it. Um, Book of Belial, so that I can do more passive damage with my left click. That's why. And so those are my relics. So there you go. That's all of that. Let's go kill something. Yes! So first, let's go ahead and go kill Cooper Damien. And I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to run forward. We're going to see what we can do. Okay. This monster level 1000. We have 500k HP. We have like 80 something thousand reduction. We have like 20% block. And that comes from the Tommy shield that my Merc is wearing. Just running through this like a hot knife through butter. We just booking it. All right, Damien, what you got for us? Not, not horrible, not bad. All right, next. Going for a sheep king. Do, do, See ya, Jeffrey. All right, let's go ahead and take on a Grim Bones. Man, the lag is so disappointing. Hopefully they fix that. Grim Bones, where you at? As you can see, I, I can still take damage. But I'm not getting one-shotted by any means. So, HP for the win. See you later, Grim Bones. All right, well, there you have it. This is my build and I hope you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. It'll help me a lot. And I can't wait for you to see my next video. Until then, good luck and have fun.